This video is sponsored by Audible. Hey guys, I'm Alexandra and welcome to season three of my rental reno. I've moved out of the treehouse and into my brand new two bedroom home. I'm gonna be making over this space start to finish, room by room. I'm so excited. Am my camera ready? Hi neighbor, don't worry. <laughs> new selfie spot. Cute. This has been a steep learning curve for me. There's no more pink, I swear. Let's get started. In today's My Rental Reno episode, season three, we are demoing and renoing the floors in this apartment and taking that awful carpet off the stairs. If you guys didn't watch my last video, you may have missed that my landlord is an architect. He's so awesome, he loves design. And so we are updating this unit together. I know that this isn't everyone's situation, I get it, but I'm really fortunate that it is mine and I wanna share the journey with you guys. I'm just gonna pause and state this right off the top. These old floors are not hardwood. They are some sort of engineered laminate. You can see there's not even like seams. It's just like one big sheet of vinyl. They're also really dark. They haven't been updated in a long time. Like the brightness and airiness just isn't at its peak because of these floors. There's also this dark gray carpet covering these beautiful old Victorian stairs. So my landlord was like, yep, remove the carpet, except we don't know what's underneath them. So this whole video is just gonna be like a journey of trying to uncover what's under them and seeing if we can refinish them and make them look really beautiful. I know that redoing apartment floors is not you know, a typical scenario for everyone, but I do know that there are so many people who watch my channel, who have bought their first home, who have like a maxed out mortgage and just want some tips on how to make their space more beautiful. And choosing hardwood floors, trust me, you will see in this video, I know it is a process. So I hope that this video helps you. If you are doing renos yourself, you've just moved into your brand new home, I hope this video gives you some guidance on how to pick floors. Oh, Vlog is so cute. Look at that little bean. Okay, <laughs> stop taking pictures of my cat and focus on the video. Okay, I have been finding it so, so, so difficult to shop for floors. But this is why I'm doing this video because I am already learning so much and I have so many kind of tips and hacks to pass on to you guys. A couple of things, a couple of problems that have arisen. One, there are too many floors on the market. Engineered flooring, regular hardwood flooring, vinyl, the tones, the finishes, the colors of floors are all so different and there's, there's just like way too much choice. But also, you can't get a concrete idea of what the floor is gonna look like using a tiny little like sample of floor. They give you like this much floor, but in a lot of floors these days, there's like variations of colors in each panel of wood. So what I was finding online is that a lot of people would be like, I loved the sample of this floor, but then I got home and I, I installed it and it looks completely different than I pictured it looking. So I have been spending every morning and every night on my phone in bed, like searching for floors searching influencers or bloggers and home home interior designers. And I stumbled upon this store called Stuga Studios, nearly peed myself because I'm like, yes, this is the store that I have been looking for. By the way, this is not sponsored, um, but whenever I find a store or online business that helps me or makes the process easier and aligns with my brand in the way that this one does, I am going to share it with you. So Stuga, their tagline is literally renovation is complicated, but finding the perfect floors shouldn't be. I was like, yes, this is what I have been saying for the last week. So basically Stuga works directly with Scandinavia's most innovative manufacturers, and they have curated a selection of sustainably harvested, crafted and engineered floors that you can easily browse, sample and buy online. They don't have like 200 floors to choose from. There's a curated selection, they're all beautiful and they're all categorized into lights, grays, neutrals, darks, even stair solutions. They have stair solutions too. I will say that click flooring or like tongue and groove flooring like this is 
pretty much the best for a rental because we are actually going to float this floor on top of what's already there. So first things first, we knew what was under these floors because the landlord had full knowledge that there was a really great sound barrier under here. So we knew that it would be a fairly straightforward process. We could just take up the floors and then float a brand new hardwood floor. The stairs on the other hand, completely different. The landlord was like, I have no idea what's under them. I don't even know if it's, if it's wood. Like you guys are gonna have to investigate that yourself. Yesterday we had a bit of a um, setback because Noah went to the apartment, pulled up some of the carpet, and it looked like there was like concrete on the stairs. And we were like, what is going on? That totally screws up the plan of doing like beautiful painted white stairs with a runner. He is there now, friends. And I think we've uncovered some wood. That sounds like wood for sure. Yeah, I like that's... creaks. I think I see wood. <laughs> Yay! It looks like it's concrete leveler on top of like a bit of wood. Like it's a thin layer of concrete leveler. See that? Oh yeah, that's white stair. Yeah. <gasps> oh my God, that's the best news I've ever heard. Our dream of white stairs and a runner is coming true. Oh my God, I can't even believe it. I am going to cry. I'm tired, can I come home now? <laughs> yeah, can I just? Can I just ask, like, is it fun having a girlfriend who does design for a living? Sometimes yes, sometimes no. Sometimes no when I'm freaking out about things that don't really matter to you. Or like keeping me at the new apartment when I'm hungry. <laughs> well, good thing for you, I have sushi here. I am ecstatic. Ecstatic? Ec ecstatic. Ecstatic? I'm ecstatic. I'm so excited. Yay! Hi guys, so you are watching our stairs being refinished, but we are still living in the tree house. <laughs> it's just so weird. So yeah, everything's looking a bit bare. It's kind of chaotic in here, kind of being a kind word to use. I'm like very stressed out. I have like stress pimples. But today's an exciting day because the floors are being demoed and the carpet is coming off the stairs. Noah's gonna stay here. Lottie's also gonna stay here. Yep. Oh, she's gonna go into her litter box. And I am going to head to our new place, so let's go! So much has been done already. Oh my gosh, it's so exciting. So that black pad that you see is staying. That's a really awesome sound barrier that's gonna keep sound traveling to downstairs. I was so, so happy to see that all of the stairs in this apartment are wood. It's kind of a miracle. Like for a while I thought it was some sort of concrete leveler. At one point I thought we were gonna have to add carpet to the stairs, which wouldn't have been the end of the world, but I was like really going for the vision of just painting these stairs and I'm just so happy that we get to do that. We had talked to the landlord and a couple of stair refinishing companies about bringing these stairs back to their original hardwood. That would have taken so much time, cost so much money. So if you guys have old stairs like this and you're thinking of refinishing them down to the original hardwood, depending on what kind of condition they're in, refinishing them and like restating them might cost you a lot of money. So in our case, these stairs weren't in the best condition. There was a lot of holes, a lot of staples in them, a lot of gaps in the wood. So we just thought the best solution was to paint. All happening. I'm so happy that these floors are So before we jump into install day, I wanted to take a moment to thank Audible, the sponsor of today's video. Usually self-care to me means curling up on the sofa with a really good book, but that hasn't been possible this month. There's been just like way too many things going on. So I've been turning to Audible to listen to audiobooks instead. I'm listening to The Midnight Library and listening to an audiobook means I still have time to relax and unwind while I'm on the go and doing a reno. Audible members get one credit every month 
Good for any title in the entire premium selection of bestsellers and new releases to keep forever. They also have full access to the Plus catalog and can listen to thousands of titles whenever they want. Audible offers so many options and I'm so thankful I've had Audible to turn to during this month. Go to audible.com slash Alexandra Gator or text Alexandra Gator to 500 500 to get one free audiobook, a 30 day free trial and explore their plus catalog. Whoa, that's really zoomed in. Hey guys, so exciting. The floor samples just arrived. Look how cute this little package is. You deserve a wonderfully designed floor. I do, Stuga. So I'm gonna walk you through all of the samples that I picked out. This is Greta. Oh my gosh, so beautiful. Greta is the one that I've kind of had my like heart set on. This is Fika. Fika looks a little bit lighter. Definitely don't think Ingrid because you can see it's like very dark. It's darker than all of these. I actually like lining them up because you can really see the tone difference in them all. Ooh, this one's nice. Okay, this is Shell. That's beautiful. Park Day. And then there's these two smaller ones. This one's Little Square. I like that one. And this is Moonlight which also has some gray undertones. So these are all of the samples. It's so nice to be able to feel them. Like shell is like super textured, which is so, so nice. Like you can feel the grain of the wood. This is gonna be like a whole process. Let's just do it. Let's do it. Oh my gosh, this living room's so empty. The birds are out of the bird chandelier. Anyways, I think what I'm gonna do is start by taking away the ones that I know right off the bat aren't gonna work. So for example, this one has lots of gray in it and Noah and I both agreed that we didn't want a floor with lots of gray in it. Okay, so this one I'm gonna put aside because I think this one's out. I think I really want a wide plank floor. So while this is beautiful, I'm gonna put this aside for now. Ingrid is way too dark. Okay, so now I'm left with four. Let's revisit Shell. So this is definitely wide plank and it has a lot of character. Greta was what I actually thought I was gonna go with originally. But now that I see it in person, it does have a bit of gray to it, which again, like isn't bad. I just don't know if that's necessarily what we're looking for. Okay, and then Fika. So it says if you like the Shell, you'll like the Fika. I don't know if that's the vibe we're going for. Okay, I'm gonna put that one aside too. I know I'm gonna put Park Day aside for sure because it has a lot of varying tones, kind of like what the floor looks like now in the space and varying tones isn't what I'm looking for. So I'm gonna put that aside. Okay, so I'm left with Greta and Shell. This is Shell and this is Greta. So already you can see that this one has more like honey tones to it where this is a little bit more like neutral Literally now I'm just gonna stare at them for a really long time. Just like an obscenely long time, I'm just gonna stare at my floor. Okay, join me. So far I'm really loving the Greta. It's just like simple. It's just like simple. That's it, full stop. I think Greta is the one that makes the most sense. So after what seems like quite a journey, the floors are finally being installed today. We received them a couple days ago from Stuga. They are just as beautiful as I picture them to be. I don't wanna jinx it, but hopefully today we will have new floors downstairs. Are you excited? Yeah. Should we show them like the first plank? Yeah, let's show them the first plank. They're like textured and matte. The beautiful markings in them. They're just, they're absolutely gorgeous. It's a busy day filled with floor installers. The painters are here to start working on the stairs. I have to run to a shoot, but I'll be back later to see the big reveal. So for the stairs leading down to the entryway, I decided to go with a matte black color. We left the middle of the stairs white because that's where the runner is gonna go and we just wanted space for us to be able to like walk up and down the stairs. Painting two flights of stairs at once is no joke. There's a lot of like coordination that has to happen. So this was a good solution. Upstairs, I went for a really bright white color. 
Make sure you guys are subscribed because I am tackling these stairs by myself. I'm installing a runner, DIY style, two runners actually for upstairs and downstairs. And the top landing, I ripped up the plywood and I'm painting the old barn wood that's up there white. It's gonna be so beautiful, so you don't wanna miss those videos coming up. You guys, I'm back. After a day of shooting, I'm gonna react to the floors. Like, we have moved in, don't worry. I haven't styled that much. I'm saving that for all the videos to come, but let's take a look at what this apartment looked like before we moved in. Those dark, dark vinyl floors. Are you guys ready to take a look at what this space looks like now? I love the feeling stuff to myself. They look what? incredible. These are my dream floors. They are oak, they are wide plank, they are from Scandinavia. Now I'm gonna never be able to leave this apartment because I'm gonna have to take the floors with me and that's not possible, you know? Thank you so much to Stuga for gifting these. I will leave all of their info down below. This is slowly turning into my dream apartment. I never thought a space could top the treehouse, but here we are. It's the treehouse 2.0, bigger, better and Noah and I just feel so, so at home here already. Thank you guys so much for watching season three of My Rental Reno. Make sure you're subscribed. There's so many more videos to come and thank you to Audible for sponsoring this video. All of the details are in the description box to get a free 30 day trial and one free audiobook. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye.